I wrote something about this earlier today. And I continue to be astounded by the fact that four weeks ago today, the House Oversight Committee said, we will issue a subpoena to Commander's owner, Daniel Snyder. Four weeks ago, no subpoena issued, no subpoena served. He's been out of the country. By all appearances, he's been out of the country for each of the last four weeks nonstop. Hasn't come back. If he did, maybe he'd mount Maybe he slipped in quietly and they didn't know, but they haven't been able to get him served. And his lawyer refuses to accept service. And the... Dan Snyder's yacht account on Twitter, tracking the whereabouts, not just of his yacht, but of his two jets. And it really is astounding to me that this has lasted four weeks. It's been a full week since there's been any tangible development. There were letter writing campaigns and they agreed to a date next Thursday, eight days away, July 28th for the testimony. But there's this lingering fight over whether or not he's testifying subject to subpoena or not. His lawyer refuses to accept service of the subpoena on his behalf. So if he testifies, he won't be under subpoena. And as we said before, that allows him to say, I can't answer any questions about potential transactions with former employees that are subject to a non-disclosure agreement. Subpoena, yes. Without subpoena, can't talk about it. Can't be forced to talk about it. So we'll see what happens. August 13 is the preseason home opener for the Commanders. September 11 is the regular season opener for the Commanders. If he continues to keep the yacht and the jets at sea or in other countries for the next four weeks, five weeks, four months, maybe is maybe I, I've seen and heard nothing over the course of the last week that makes me think, He's committed to anything other than staying away as long as he can until Congress just gives up because nothing good happens to him if he shows up and testifies under subpoena. No good outcome happens for Daniel Snyder. His best outcome is to continue to hunker down, avoid the subpoena, and never testify. And the league's complicit in this. As I've said time and again, they're afraid of him. They're afraid of him. And Congress apparently doesn't know what to do at this point. I don't think they want to come out and say, hey, as long as he stays out of the country, there isn't a damn thing we do. We don't have the power. You may think we have the power. We don't. They don't want to come out and say that. And the media and the fans, what more can we say other than he has not yet been subpoenaed? He has not yet been subpoenaed. And to conclude this point, he has not yet been subpoenaed. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.